Hello everyone, welcome to Babylon Leather's official channel. Today, we're going to make this mini lady bag. Now is the finished project show. First, let's check all the materials. These two materials are already pre-assembled. Firstly, let's distinguish the front and back of the materials. The one with larger pinholes is the front side, and the one with smaller pinholes is the back side. Measure the thread for times the length of the sewn part, then cut it off. Each time you could measure the thread a little more, the thread is absolutely enough. Thread the needles. Pass the thread through the needle eye. Then pull out a section. Let the needle point to pierce the thread. Pull it tight. Now it is done. Thread the other needle in the same way. Start sewing from this pinhole, let the needle from the bottom to top. Then let the second needle pass through the neighboring pinhole. Pull the two threads, keep them in the same length. Let the first needle pass through the second pinhole. Don't pierce the thread. Pull the thread tight. Now, we successfully start the stitching. Keep sewing in this way. Sew to the end. Don't miss any pinhole. Don't pierce the thread. Pull out the needle vertically. After sewing up each stitch, pull it tight. When swinging the thread by hand, the direction should be consistent. Pass through the thread to the opposite of the hardware in this way. Then keep sewing.
Finally, let's end the stitching and deal with the thread ends. Make a back stitch to reinforce it. Now let both needles on the material's back side. Cut the thread leaving a 3 mm end. Burn off the thread ends with a lighter. Let's check the sewn up effect. Sew up the other side in the same way. Find the bottom material. Align the pinholes of it and the other bag body piece. Let the two materials front side up. Measure the thread for times the length of the sewn part. Thread the needles. Start sewing from the first pinhole of the bag body piece. Let the needle from the bottom to top. Then let the needle pass through the first pinhole of the bottom material, from bottom to top. Then let the second needle pass through the second pinhole of both materials. Then keep sewing with the double needle stitching method. After sewing up each stitch, pull it tight. When swinging the thread by hand, the direction should be consistent. Don't miss any pinhole. Don't pierce the thread. Pay attention to these points every time you sew. No more hints later. Finally, let's end the stitching and deal with the thread ends in the same way. Let's check the sewn up effect. Sew up the other side in the same way. Install the four bottom studs and tighten the screws in this way. Measure the thread nine times the length of the sewn part. Thread the needles. Find these two materials. 
Align the outermost pinholes, then keep sewing with the double stitch method. Finally, let the thread end on the back side and end the stitching. Let's check the sewn up effect. Sew up the other side in the same way. Keep the same material on the top on both sides. Get the two small leather pieces and the 2D buckles. Keep this well, because we will use it later. Combine them in this way. Start sewing from this pinhole. Sew the circle, end at this pinhole. This pinhole in the middle is not needed to sew. Measure the thread eight times the length of the sewn part. Thread the needles. Finally, let the thread end on the back side and end the stitching. Start sewing from this pinhole, then sew the two materials together like this. Let's check the sewn up effect. Sew up the other side in the same way. Then unscrew these screws on the handle and use the small bag just saved to save the screws. Measure the thread eight times the length of the sewn part. Thread the needles. Start from the pinhole where you sewed once before, then sew eight pinholes to the left. Now, we sew up the eight pinholes. Find the zipper material and put it in like this. Let the back side of the zipper material face up. When sewing to the ninth pinhole, add the zipper material and sew them together. Note the zipper material and large body material front to front. Do not get it wrong. Keep sewing.
When sewing to the ninth pinhole on the opposite, we should also add the zipper material and sew them together. Finally, let the thread end on the back side and end the stitching. Let's check the sewn up effect. Measure the thread for times the length of the sewn part. Thread the needles. Start sewing from the first pinhole of the side piece. Let the needle from the bottom to top. Then let the needle pass through the first pinhole of the bag body piece, from bottom to top. Sew up the whole circle with the double needle sewing method. Sew the corner normally. Don't miss any pinhole. We could let the needle pass through the pieces one by one. We must pull the thread tight. Let's check the sewn up effect. Sew up the other side in the same way. First close the zipper, put the zipper tail into the bag. Measure the thread for times the length of the sewn part. Thread the needles. Find the center holes of the two materials. The center hole is larger than other holes. Count from this sewn stitching line to the fourth pinhole and start from the fourth pinhole. Then pass through the fourth pinhole starting from the center hole of the side piece. Then sew the whole circle normally. The opposite side is sewn in the same way. Finally, let the thread ends on the back side and end the stitching.
Let's check the sewn up effect. Just tighten all the screws. Be careful not to hurt yourself. Note that this is the front. This is the internal hardware. Put it well first and then tighten it. This wonderful bag is complete now. Well, thanks for choosing Babylon Leather. Thanks for watching. Hope you get more skills here.